Hello guys, we are back. Today, unusual video with Lucas. Hi. Not only talented engineer, but also our F-35, yes, F-35 pilot. Uh, not a real life F-35 pilot, but who knows, who knows, you, know, you never know coming out of Viperwing, right? Uh, so, unusual video because we want to show you some features of F-35, of the newest version uh, that we built. Uh, we are improving our units all the time, constantly. Uh, also unusual because we are using our test screen. It's not uh, one of the screens that we are offering, because you know that we offer curved screens in all sizes, uh, professional curved screens for professional, uh, professional projection. Uh, so this is our test screen, we may change the resolutions here. Uh, today we focus on functionalities, not, not the screen. Uh, okay, the unit is here. A uh, couple of takes earlier, you could have seen the F-35 in much better light. Uh, so you may pause it in 4K, surely, and see some details. And okay, let's let's have fun, Lucas. Yes, let's show you the cockpit. Before we go dark here for the flight, we wanted to show you something we are really, really proud of. So we have the Hodas grips replicated from real F-35. Exact shape of the grips of the throttle and stick. Right now I'm sitting in the F-35 uh, replica cockpit. Uh, as you can see, everything is backlit like in the real simulation. Uh, as you may know, F-35 has three variants, A, B and C. Currently we are simulating version B, which is a short takeoff and vertical landing capable. Uh, as you can see, uh, most of the uh, features in this aircraft uh, is available by touchscreen, uh, which is uh, presented uh, in front of us. Uh, everything in, the, in this menus are config configurable, so we can change or extend our screens as we desire. Also, we have very, uh, uh, a lot of options to, uh, to change uh, in, uh, in aircraft. So, for example, we can turn on the FLIR or uh, change settings in our uh, autopilot. We have clear view of our fuel and also our uh, status on the aircraft, like our controls and uh, uh, the status of our landing gear. So, let's start. Let's take off. So, we can use the short takeoff feature of F-35B. So, to activate it, we need to press the short takeoff or vertical landing button. As you can see, on our HUD, on the left, uh, on the bottom left uh, side, we can see little aircraft in the, with numbers. And with moving the sticks, we can change the angle of uh, our nozzle on our back nozzle and our center fan, central fan. So without further ado, let's take off. You can see uh, we have plenty of uh, airstrip to start, but we won't need it. As you can see, we are right now airborne. So let's put our landing gear up. See our state status, landing gears are uh, currently up. And at about 200 knots, we can change our mode to classical mode. As you can see, no vectoring. Okay, right now we will present the air to surface uh, capabilities of F-35. So at first we need to change our master mode to air to surface. Then we can change our our weapon just by clicking on it and it's already selected and if we desire to uh, select our target uh, via selecting the point on the map 
for example, you can turn on the map mode and attack function. You can scale it a bit to have a better view and just select the select the uh, point which we want to attack. Right now you can change our view on the FLIR to our desired point and if we gain some uh, attitude just to be in a circle which is tell us that we are able uh, we are capable to uh, deploy uh, to, to deploy a bomb we need to change our master arm and while we are able to destroy our target we press the pickle the bays are opening and closing and in a second we can see on our flare image that our target is hit as you can see we can you can see splash and some smoke Okay, let's select another target. Uh, there are a few options of uh, setting the, uh, the target in the air to ground mode. For example, we can uh, use our air to surface radar and uh, while we uh, change our cursor, we can just select assign and this point is already assigned. Uh, also, we can use our uh, HOTAS cursors to, to move the point to find adjust the impact zone. Let's select somewhere, somewhere here and just gain the attitude and deploy. see the uh, targets destroyed. Okay, so uh, right now let's show you the air-to-air -air capabilities. So at first we need to change, change the mode to air-to-air. -air. Uh, we have spawned uh, enemy drone to help us show you the capabilities. Uh, it is available via simulation. Then let's, let's change to search page. As, and, and as you can see, we can we can, uh, we, are, we have aircraft about 10 nautical miles uh, ahead of us. So let's master our, our aircraft. Select the weapon, and we can select our target by a HOTAS. As you can see, it's uh, marked and. The circle, it's maybe, let's turn, turn this off. We can see the circle shows our range. So while we are in a, in a range, we can select our aircraft and deploy the, the, the missile. Okay, our target is almost in range. We can select it via HOTAS. As you can see on the search page, we have uh, our range displayed and uh, ver uh, the, uh, the speed relative to, to us. And in a moment, we can see on a FLIR also, which we can enlarge uh, our uh, enemy drone. Okay, so we have our target selected and let's shoot it. Fox 2. And we can see on our flare that we are actively tracking the target. In a moment should be the impact. So splash. We can visually confirm that our target is hit. And also flare is actively tracking even the uh, target which is destroyed. And our 
our enemy is destroyed. So this is this is uh, this is the uh, air-to-air -air capability of F-35. We can change our master mode to navigation and disable master arm. Okay, so as you can see, I changed my display layout to uh, navigation mode to prepare for landing. Uh, as you may see, our uh, cockpit is uh, fully connected with the simulation. So, for example, if I change our Tekken to uh, 102 X-ray, our simulation also shows that it's 102 X-ray. We can change it by clicking it to different value, like 106, and it's already in our uh, panel. So let's prepare for landing. Okay, so right now I'm preparing for landing. So let's use our air brakes. As you can see, we, our, our speed brakes are uh, in on position, are up. Let's uh, slow it down a bit more. And I will show you the vertical, la vertical landing capability of F-35B. At around 250 or even more, we can put our gear down. Our gear is fully down, so we can uh, decelerate a bit more and uh, we change our mode to short takeoff or vertical landing. So right now, our mode is changing and the LED will show us that we are in the, in the uh, selected mode. As you can see, we can, uh, the uh, engine vectoring is displayed. So let's uh, move on the uh, airfield and uh, perform our vertical landing. Okay, so we're getting close to the uh, airfield. Uh, we can, uh, as you can see, our speed is uh, very low, like 100 knots. And while we uh, over the desired, desired place to land, we can change our mode to hover. So for example, let's select the, the uh, beginning of the airstrip. The hover mode is uh, available by clicking the mode on the, uh, uh, on the page. So you can change our mode to hover. And as you can see, we are currently hovering about the airstrip. Uh, right now, the shuttle is not responding because it's automatically controlled via the aircraft computer. If you uh, desire to move downwards, we push our stick and we are moving down. If you want to move upwards, we can pull our stick. Uh, if you want to uh, yaw, you can use our rudder pedals. And our flare camera right now is pointing downwards to help us uh, select the better place for landing. So let's land it. And we are on the ground. The uh, uh, hover mode is uh, disabled. And we can disable our short takeoff mode. So while taxiing, uh, we can uh, use our brakes, but our braking appliance is limited. So if I uh, desire to brake right now, you can see the number is uh, decreasing. So if it goes to the zero, we are not able to brake the aircraft. If you if you switch the parking brake, it's it's uh, not decreasing the number because it's using the uh, different appliance. Okay, so this setup of the front screen is our test environment just to uh, quickly uh, 
uh, resolve some problems if uh, some happen. But uh, we deliver the aircraft with a variety of front visual options. So, for example, the curved screens with uh, one, two, or even three projectors, projectors to have a better immersion of the uh, flight and uh, the aircraft. Lucas, thank you very much. It was a very nice teaser of F-35 features. It was a pleasure. Yeah, but, uh, I believe there is quite a few video on uh, YouTube even showing, showing the features of F-35. If you'd like to see something, just let us, let us know. Maybe we'll be able to help. Uh, yeah, that is, that is actually all for today. Uh, this is F-35 covered with metal. We don't use composites. There are two lights in our opinion, you know, we want our cockpits to be solid, to be able to be put, for example, on motion platforms sometimes. Uh, we'll be back, we'll be back with another units, uh, we'll be back with the new screens that we are just introducing, of any size you may imagine. We'll be back with very cool new gadgets very soon. Take care guys.